The Viking eductor truck offload system has been designed to address 100% of the solids and liquid material that is in the waste stream of vacuum trucks and street sweepers. ETOS is a modular, expandable system that can be used by both large and small operators. The equipment and process flow have both been developed with a small footprint to minimize the area needed. Truck scales allow for accurate material in and out figures. Trucks back up onto a clean offload ramp to the receiving pit. The standard ETOS has a dual truck space allowing for maximum throughput. The smaller CTOS has space for one truck at a time. Trucks decant the water and offload solids into the hopper, not on the ground. The drivers have a clean, safe place to work without stepping on or around piles of waste. The primary grate is the first active screening stage. Recirculation water can be added to dryer loads to wash the material. From the pit, the material is conveyed through the trommel where it is washed, scrubbed, and separated. The watered solids are discharged at the end of the trommel. The screen medium can be set up from 3 16th to 1 quarter inch passive size. Flights spaced through the barrel ensure material retention time for scrubbing and washing. Sand and fines washed off the solids, along with the liquids, pass through the trommel barrel and enter the patent pending mix box. Material is kept in suspension to be pumped into the sand screw diffuser and hopper at a calculated rate of up to 250 gallons per minute. Once washed and separated, the plus size material with the sand and water removed can now be further processed as required. An additional dry trommel screening station can now separate the waste and solids into whatever size band the operator desires. Now a washed product, the material can be stockpiled for use. Organic and floatable materials are removed as the fines and water pass the organic screen. The sand is separated from the fines and is augered up and out along the single 24 inch screw allowing maximum scrub and wash times. Dewatered sand is then deposited on the sand screen for final dewatering. Dewatered sand travels over a 100 mesh medium cloth, then exits the vibrating screen and is deposited on the sand discharge belt. Optional spray bars for hot or cold water ensure that a variety of treatment options are available depending on the incoming feedstock. The sand at this point has the fines removed and is now ready for incorporation into a product or reuse for road traction sand. Once past the organic screen, liquid and fines are discharged into the incline plate clarifier for separation. Heavier fines fall to the sludge tank where a rake keeps the solids in suspension. Clarified water passes out the top and through the oil water separator and into discharge tanks or the sewer line. Sludge from the clarifier is pumped into a plate frame press where it is dewatered. Dewatered filter cake solids are now ready for incorporation into Portland cement, tested for products, or landfilling without the expense of the water. Sludge to solids with no sludge pond required. Treated recovered water is sent to the recirculation tank or routed through a series of metal removal or sand and carbon filters as required.